One of the first things I've already done to all the fingers is apply a base coat. And I've applied one coat of Grey's Anatomy from Wet n Wild. And that's on this hand. And it's also on these two fingers. I'm going to show you how to dip them and stuff. And um, you'll also need some kind of tape. And I'm just going to tape off my finger really fast show you how I do that really quickly I just take and and I learned this from simple little pleasures channel here on YouTube I put it right up against my cuticle there and then I take another piece and Put it right directly underneath the nail here. And and this makes for a very easy, fast cleanup. And I pull it kind of tight. It's okay if it gets kind of messy also. And so there's only a little bit of um, skin exposed there. And um, you can tell there's not very much to clean up once you've done this. You also need a cup of water, uh, for, you know, water marbling, and you'll also want to have a cup of, or, um, a toothpick or an orange stick to pull your polish through the water. All three colors that I'm going to be using are from Wet n Wild. This one is Sea of Dreams, Grey's Anatomy, and... Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I'm going to be using those three and I'm going to start dropping those in the water. You need to work fast with these um, wet and wild ones because they dry super fast. And I only want, I'm going to stop there because I only want the one ring of this dark purple and two of the other colors. So it's a very small bullseye, but I'm just going to be pulling that from the center and anchoring it against the side of the cup. Now it looks like this. And then I want a zigzaggy design, so I'm just pulling that through like that. I'm going to poke any bubbles there might be. And then right in the middle is where I'm going to dip my finger. Try to get it to where I, where I want the design to be. And just going to dip that. So you want to leave your finger in the water until you can clear out the entire cup of nail polish. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. I'm just going to cut right up underneath there. My skin. And she has a more in-depth video of how to do this taping off your fingers. Um, and that was simple little pleasures. So that looks like that. And as you can tell, there's like hardly any cleanup just around the sides a little. So I'm going to show you one more time on the ring finger. I'm going to start dropping that polish again. Okay, and for this design, that's really all you need. You don't have to use a big bunch of polish. Just dragging some zigzags through there. And clean the water out. And all 
of them will probably come out different, but that's what makes water marbling so unique in nail designs. But that's what that one looks like. And to ensure the life of any water marble um, or nail design, you'll always want to apply some kind of top coat. And I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to start working on the other hand. And there'll be pictures at the end. So all you have to do is seal in your design with the top coat and you're done. So thank you guys for watching.